Hey guys, it's Achi Luxury. Achi Luxury live streaming, live streaming. And uh, today it's a it's a holiday, holiday in America. It's a holiday, and uh, I gotta tell you there, I've uh, decided Clive asked me to come on, so I've come on, and uh, hopefully Clive comes on this channel now. Uh, it's, 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 it's a great forum to talk watches, watches. And, uh, I gotta tell you, man, I gotta tell you, uh, I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out waiting for my paddock to come back from a polish. You know, I get so, ah, oh, I want it so badly, but you know, it's just hard, man. It's really fucking hard. It's so hard to just wait, man. I don't like waiting, you know. I like to get quick, 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 quick. So, um, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough. Um, but um, I got to tell you, man. I got to tell you, it's tough. It's tough. I'm waiting. I'm sweating on it. I really want to get my... I don't like giving stuff out, waiting for it to come back. So I'm just chewing the fat a bit uh, i know i'm wearing a rolex i should be happy with what i got i'm an ungrateful son of a bitch uh what's going on in the watch world there i gotta tell you man i'm fucking sick and tired of uh, every rolex dealer i go to it's they just they really are just they just dealers no steel sports no steel sports no steel sports at all. I don't know why. Um, it's just fucking hard, man. Um, it's hard. It's hard. Um, I don't know what to say, man. It's just fucking hard. Steel sports. I don't understand this, 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 this mess we're in. We gave all our manufacturing to China. Some Chinese got incredibly rich. And now they've taken over buying all the sports Rolexes. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's, what can you say? Life isn't fair. It's hard. It's mean. It's nasty. Uh, it's just crazy. The whole Rolex market in the last couple of years has just gone crazy. The hot models you can't get. Can't get them. Can't get them. Um, it's just tough. It's tough. It's tough. So I've just come on here now. I don't think we've had any super chat. So uh, if you could super chat now, guys. Alexa, super chat $50 to Archie Luxury 72 at gmail.com. It would really be good there. So, um, yeah, I got to say, man, I'm just coming on for the holidays, getting a bit of. Uh, uh, I had the pizza yesterday. No, that's only weekend pizzas. Uh, by the way, man, I got breath tested after I had that scotch on air. I then had to go and do, do a few little errands, pick up the pizza. I got breath tested. And. Um, Never drink and drive. I've never, never been. In, uh, the only problem is because the scotch is. I just literally, literally had the uh, the drink before I I went on to the, got breath tested. Um, but but it was all good. Zero point zero zero. One of the joys of being a fat cunt is that the alcohol um, doesn't um, doesn't pick up there. So. Yeah, it's all cool, guys. It's cool. It is very, very cool. Um, and uh, ten dollars. Thank you so much, man. That's fucking amazing. Ten dollar super chat. Hello, Clive. we've got Woody New Yorker two dollars. AX, did you see the video I sent you of Roddy two? Yes, I did. Rodent two. Yes, I did. Hello, Clive. How are you? Not too bad. How's the bag stream going? I mean, sorry, how's the live stream going? Hey, it's going fantastic, man. David Hill, $10, thinking of trading a 11270 purchase from David SW back to AVSW for a Lange & Son Saxonia V2 
been listed on David on Esther. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what you think. Oh, he's get look. This is this is a tricky question. He's going to trade in an, a a uh, a explorer one. I love the Lange. Do it, do it, do it, do it. David SW is pretty fair. Okay. I don't know David SW, but he's pretty fair. Robert Lee, ten dollars. Your Bangkok scammer video was hilarious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clivers, what are you up to? Talk to me. It's a holiday in America. Tell me what it, you're it's doing. It's a holiday. It's so uh, it's starting. It's the unofficial start of summer. So I thought I'd jump in the pool. And do you remember? Do you remember at the end of The Empire Strikes Back where Han Solo was frozen yes. in carbonite? Yes. That's exactly what it felt like. Okay, got you. Holy shit. I mean, literally, I got out of the pool, and they said, how was, how was the pool, Clive? And it was just like, it's a little bit cold, i got to be honest with you. Yes, a little bit. That's okay. Cold. Yeah. It's good. You're looking healthy, Clive. Uh, tell me this. Um, wristwatches, what watch did you take in the pool? I didn't take any watches in the pool. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah. no. it's, not like I have a, it's not like I have a shitter watch, like a shikling I could take in there and not care about. Yeah. Are you going to buy that Brightling we spoke about, or that's stupidity? Well, did you actually see Matt Stevens' video from earlier today? Uh, what did he say? He's like, I'm so pissed off right now. I almost, he's like, I haven't really been interested in watches for the longest time just because, just because of the country of uh, Rolex and Omega. How, which country is Matt in? China, America. Bangkok? America. He's in America. Yeah, he's in North Carolina. He's a lo lovely guy. Well, if you like, if you take Han Danes and you half his IQ and you double his testosterone, that's pretty much Matt Stevens. I see. I see. Uh, Matt's a lovely guy. I love Matt. Um, I'm surprised he doesn't try and get a film going. Matt's, Matt's, Matt's was always a good film producer. Well, you know, didn't he try to contact you? Did you or didn't you try to contact him about the uh, Archie maybe producing or developing the Archie Luxury movie? He's a bit of a perfectionist, you know. Well, yeah, no, me and me and Sucker Horn just ran that out. That that was that was that wasn't a bad, wasn't too bad for a a home job there, but um, no, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't really horrible it wasn't exceptionally horrible um no, it was okay actually, but you know actually it's pretty big hit it's kind of a pretty big hit over here at least part of part of america though what's that the archie lecture movie oh okay yeah the the government's taking an interest in it i see yeah yeah have you ever heard of gitmo no have you ever heard of guantanamo bay yes Yes. They're showing it to people to confined in Guantanamo Bay until they start telling secrets about the Taliban. I see. Now tell me this, Clivus. What's going on? What's going on um, with your? Are you sick? I'm getting really sick everywhere I go with Rolex. The dealers have no steel sports on display. Yeah, I I think everyone's pissed off. I'm pissed off. What's the answer? And What's the answer? Well, you know, I kind of hate to say it, but... I remember you, Woody New Yorker, $2. Oh. Clive, is, do you wear Speedos or the granny shorts? Granny shorts. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, I just got out of the pool, so right now, well, you don't want to know. I'll just put it that way. Um, i got to tell you, I, what do you, you, you actually made a video about 12 months ago saying that the Rolex supply problem, supply is going to increase... I was wrong. Okay. Well, here, here's the thing, okay? Here, here's what really gets... The thing is, there is no Rolex shortage. No. No, there is no Rolex shortage. The fucking resellers have them all. Yes. You go to any reseller anywhere, and they're going to have, like, literally... You know, come on, how many videos have you filmed in Asia where they had, like, in honkers or bangers or... Twinkers or whatever. Well, the ADs don't have any. They don't. The ADs have absolutely no sports because the resellers have them all. 
There's no shortage of them. They're just not at the ADs. So well, why is there this artificial price mechanism there? What's gone wrong then? Uh, well, I think everyone everyone's in it just to flip it. Yeah, but it used to be like that anyhow. Rolex, why is, see, Rolex wasn't the hot brand. It was Panerai was very hot, wasn't it? Yeah. Remember Pam? Yeah. Well, right now the economy is doing well. Everyone's flush with cash. So, you know, this is probably one of the few times on the planet where a lot of people have more disposable income than, than normal. Um, investment, you know, you can't pit in the bank because interest is shit because they want to keep the economy purring along. The stock market's a gamble, and uh, that, along with the Newman Daytona, at least, you know, basically, uh, I did a little video, I called it Invasion of the Money Snatchers. I see. Um, do you do you think the Rolex supply problem, you don't blame it on the Chinese at all? <sighs> Probably it's part of it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's part. Then again, we don't know shit because Rolex keeps us all in the dark. Yes. Um, probably the Chinese, probably our economy. I actually, well, and, you know, then again, reps, you know, Tanzil and Ronnie Paul, they had the reps, the Rolex reps, not the AD, but the reps saying, we have not cut back. We have not cut back on supply. We're making as many as we did, as many as we plan to. It's just the demand is really, 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 really high. Why is there no demand for Datejust then? Um, I think less part of, demand. I think part of it is, well, there is a demand, but not as much as the sports models. Because, again, if that was the Paul Newman Datejust that sold for like $200 million or half a gajillion dollars, I think it'd be different. Also, I actually think we're all like, okay, you know, my favorite tagline about you is that you're very lazy a little greedy with an overwhelming sense of entitlement. Yes. Or Rolex is very greedy, a little lazy with an overwhelming sense of entitlement. They will put as little effort as they can into it, while it can, but you know they still want everyone to give them buckets full of money. Now, what's the guy with with Bark and Jack? Are you friends with him? Yeah, we talk. With, yeah, we talk all the time. You have a wrench on his channel. Ah, uh, apparently I do. Yeah, I was a little surprised about that. And then Hisham, and then Hisham got in there and said, "Hey, use your wrench, buddy. Use your wrench." So I put him in timeout for five minutes. Mm -hmm. But that star two dollars demand is up. This everyone trying to make a buck. Well, and it's dis it's disheartening because okay, there's one thing. It's one thing to get a to get a watch, exper experience it. It's our good friend, Mr. Goldberg. Hello, Mr. Goldberg. I understand you're feeling a bit down. Yes. Yes. Yankee Doodle, $2. Rolex is acting like a hard-to-get bitch. I would agree with that. <coughs> uh, how's your sack doing? Has Ving Tenier been working? I understand Ving Tenier is working on Goldberg's sack. You know, I'm talking to a couple of guys who are getting out of Rolex, the two of you, leaving Rolex. I'm, I'm not sure... I'm not sure I understand you people anymore. Last I knew, it was Rolex. Rolex. Mark, no, Mark, 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 Mark. Let me bring up something very important real quick, okay? Uh -huh. Your head is in the way of your book. You mm -hmm. need to move your head or move your book. Okay, that's better. And by the way, what is that book? Let's uh, let's do the plug in like thirty seconds. I can't I can't come on straight up with a plug for my book. Let dogs be dogs in bookstores and on Amazon now. I should wait for an appropriate moment, don't you think? Yeah, well, that's right, because besides being an accomplished author, you're also a man of integrity. Exactly. It's like I it's it, Clyde. It's exactly like your law practice. You don't actually chase that ambulance until it's a block away. You give it a running start. And I mean, you're we're you, we're we are men of honor, the two of us. No, and, and when you give your when you give your cards to the person that's been struck, you see mm -hmm. what the the cards are dependent on the wounds and to stunts the flow of blood. It's not you know improper, it's not improper solicitation. It's first aid. 
you're brilliant. You're the only attorney I know who has actually printed his uh, business cards on gauze bandages. It's really a, it was quite a move. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure someone's going to steal the idea. Probably. We have no honor. Now, I wanted to ask you guys here, I wanted to ask you guys, you know, <clears throat> what what is the situation as far as supply problems go in America? You go into an AD, they got date just. What's what's the go? No, no, no it's, it's not just that. We used to call. I was used to call the date uh, the ADs date just or us. Yeah, you can't even get date just unless they're two tone. I'm now calling the ADs the two tone tabernacle. I see two tone tabernacle. You got anything good? He's like, yeah, we got plenty. If you like two tone, they have date just. They have. Um Occasionally, you'll see something interesting in two tone. Um, I've seen a fair number of. Um, you still got your sky dweller, don't you? I do. I like my sky dweller. Yeah, I do in two tone. We're two tone buddies, you and me. But yeah. um, you know, you see the you see a, a fair number of gold Daytonas on an Oyster Flex. You know, just oddball stuff. That's all they have. Well, okay. Number one, Patek Philippe can get away with re releasing something on rubber, so why can't Rolex? Number one. Number two is, to me, since the prices of the stainless steel Daytonas are almost catching up, you can if you you can haggle for the precious metal stuff, get a little bit of a discount, or yeah. find them on the used market for under MSRP. And since the prices are almost meeting each other, isn't is it, isn't paying gold price for steel kind of dumb? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, you know, riddle me this, Batman. When is gold more? When is gold cheaper than steel? You know, and that's when it's on a Rolex. It, it, it's topsy turvy. It's backwards. I think. I think two tone is a is a metal whose time has come. They don't charge nearly the premium for it that they do on the gold pieces. The gold premium is stupid. Way crazy over the price of gold, but the the premium on steel is worse yet. Two tone. Two tone. A little bit of flash of precious metal, but still the durability of steel. Do you think that the uh, that the gold on Paul's hollow center length bluesy is thicker or thinner than the rolled gold on the two tone Tudor? Probably thinner. I was gonna say, could be, yeah, could be could be almost the same concept. Yeah, because they had to make up some of that money when they paid for Paul to fly out to Sydney. Ooh. You exactly, know, not exactly. I got to tell you guys, I got to tell you, it's very, very disappointing. The Rolex dealers themselves there have absolutely, I've been everywhere, man, Singapore, Hong Kong, Bangkok, uh, Sydney, oh, Melbourne, Brisbane, da, 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 da. and yeah. I, it's just, you know, I saw this old crusty guy. And uh, he, he was saying, if you got one in stock, I'd be very interested. He just doesn't understand the market. Some dog, two dollars. Thoughts on the fifteen four five zero Royal Oak for a six and three quarter inch wrist? That's the thirty seven mil Royal Oak. I got to tell you, it's a great watch. I think that could be a sweet spot. Well, I, I was talking. I was talking to someone, and they were saying that they're going to come up with all sorts of new and exciting they're saying in 2020 battles of the world assuming it still occurs <laughs> your mind is going to be blown and my response is quite frankly who fucking cares because we're not going to be able to get our hands on it anyway no so just an h5 bucks local ad's only have explorers and date just mm -hmm. rolex creating their own demand woody new yorker ac bitcoin is climbing again screw rolex buy coins thank you woody you know, the, the authorized dealers, we, people, we got to remember this. In most cases, with very, very few exceptions, the AD is a family-owned jewelry store with one, two, sometimes three locations. But for the most part, these are relatively small businesses, and they're just subject to the Rolex distribution agreement. They would like to have more inventory, but they have no say in what they receive. So this is really coming from corporate, which is yeah. they're Rolex, I've heard before that Rolex is really concerned about the, the shortage of popular models at the ADs. They're not concerned enough to change the way they do it. Sorry, Paul, you want to keep it down so you can have your personal phone call? He's muted himself now, I believe.
uh, if only we had that. If, if only we could do that, you know. <laughs> like you know, we we might need to make a bargain with the devil. He's he's sitting right there. Why don't you go ask him? <laughs> well, the horned one, the horned one will not be muted unless he mutes himself. You will know him because he will come in the guise of a Rolex, of a Rolex wearing wanker. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 concerned that that you, the two of you, are leaving me behind. Both of you are trending into hot horology. And here I am with a drawer full of Rolexes. I've been told never sell Rolex. I've only gotten screwed when I've sold Rolex. And now you're selling Rolex. Yeah. Tell it, well, this is the time to sell Rolex. But is it? Yes. yes how, it do we, how do we know? When you can sell it and make your money back or maybe a slight profit, that's definitely the time to sell. Yeah, well, you can always make a profit. Or you can always get your money back. I mean, Rolex has pretty much always been the money back brand. But the thing is, and the thing is, you know, I mean, you see, I used to, I used to admire and respect you because you're the motherfucker who sold a Daytona because you didn't like it. And it's yeah. just like, yeah, you know, keep it well, pure. I don't think he wants to relive that, Clive. Every yeah, time. It's painful. It's That's... painful. No, I, let it go, I let it go about $8,000 too cheap. You know, you're just mad because you sold it prematurely and you didn't get everything you could out of that out of the sale. You, know, that's, bad when you don't squeeze when you're premature and you don't squeeze out the last few drops. It's bad. Not good. It's very I mean, bad. There's someone else that keeps talking about, oh, I missed the 1016. I missed my 1016 Explorer. Yeah, yeah it's like selling a 1016 years before it's time. Yeah, that's exactly it, man. But I got to be honest with you. That's why I like the world time because it makes up for my stupidity. Yankee Doodle, five dollars. The pink elephant puts his IWC chronograph up for sale. Opinion of this watch? Eh. I thought it was his IWC Ingenua he put up for sale. It was the limited edition Ingenua. Who are we talking about? Federico. The pink elephant. Come on. How do you not know that, Clyde? Okay, Mark, you can you can you can demean him because of his weight. We really I, I don't think we no 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 no. I don't demean anybody. I'm uh, I, I'm not God's gift here. I, I'm getting chubby, I'm getting old, I'm I'm no longer at nine point five, I'm probably down to eight point seven five, you know, status. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not one to talk. Mm. Well, of the three of us that have any reason to talk, it would definitely be Boo. Well, aren't you kind? You're just yeah. the kind. <laughs> well, I'm going to grab a coffee, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Coffee's for closers and Rolex day date wearers, you know? Mm. You have neither. You, you don't have a day date. You aren't a closer. Here, guys. No, I'm going to turn. Uh, let me know when he's off camera. And okay. we're clear. And we're clear. Thank you so much. Well, let's see if we got any super chats here. <laughs> Was he wearing pants? How about super chats to keep Archie off of YouTube? Like, we could probably get him to actually leave the house if we could raise, like, you know, a hundred bucks. Kind of like a government subsidy to farmers, except exactly. it would be, don't, except don't, it would be directly don't, to the livestock in this case. Yeah, don't, don't plant wheat. Don't don't raise cattle. Don't raise horn to cattle. Don't raise Texas longhorn. Do you know I have a girlfriend who has two Texas longhorns and she rides them, and they're I mean you're talking six foot wingspan lug to lug on those animals is like measured in yards amazing they're scary i'm always afraid they're going to turn their head and just like knock you over she rides them she also has camels amazing girl flies wow. around air yeah she's a she's a pistol well okay so i'm gonna uh, it's hard to well i guess there's not much going on the live stream right now so that's fine also if you have any insulting or degrading comments to read that you want read for free, now's the time, guys. Just then. This is my girl Friday. This is a pretty girl. Pretty good. No, but the, the trouble is, is, like I said, there is no shortage of Rolex. The resellers have them all, and they're selling them for, you know, at least, what, 50% of the models what we want are selling above. You know, yeah, you've had some pretty good luck trolling um, Craigslist for the occasional collector just bailing out, though. Well, there's there's techniques. There, there are techniques, and on the other hand, your area, your area of expertise is eBay. 
Yeah, I mean, you've got Craigslist, I've got eBay, you've got the funeral homes, I've got the pawn shops. I mean, I'll be in Scotland for you. We, 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 we kind of have this covered. And you, and you almost have to today because you need to develop alternative strategies for Rolex acquisition. It's getting hard, fuckers. Hard. I don't. We, the rancher and I do not like paying premiums, do we, sir? No, sir. We do not. We're old school. You can you can get a um, you can still get a, a forty millimeter yacht master under MSRP. Yeah, and also the uh, porn shop. No, Bing Bing. Why aren't you joining us, Bing Tanya? Porn shop. Yes. Mm, yeah. Now, um, on the other end, the explore the explorer, not the explorer two, but just the regular explorer is also. Yeah. You right. can still find under and the, under and, and the Air King. No, I'd no, it's, well, I'd say the Air King's kind of getting up there. I, well, I don't disagree with you, but there are several of them on eBay right now for like listed right under MSRP, and that's before you bargain and dicker them down a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred yeah. bucks. But that's not much of this kind. You're basically no, but, yeah, but you're saving on all the taxation, so you're buying below MSRP. And when you take taxes into account, you're probably $750, $850 under MSRP and counting tax. Like, that's a big deal. People don't count taxation. No taxation. Well, and the thing is, though, um, and something. Okay, sorry. It's kind of hard. It's kind of the grab. Oh, uh, geez. But the, the thing is, though, there's no shortage of Rolex. The reason, you know, screw it. I'm not going to keep up the live stream comments. I'm just going to talk to you. It occurred to me, this ain't my fucking channel. Uh -oh. okay. I don't see any. I don't see any colored boxes. Um, I think you need to say. Never mind. Say something. Say something nasty before he puts on those headphones. Quick. Poor idiot. Hey guys, no, I had to get a coffee because you know as well as I do. Swirling coffee on the screen brings in big bucks. You know, you make that look really good. I gotta say, you you have a nice coffee machine. All I have it's is an espresso. You know, George Clooney does the ads. That's all I got. But I think I think I'm gonna pull out the the hold on. I got a thing. Let me find the thing. Here's find your thing. Warn us before you whip your thing out. I will. Hold on. Here comes the thing. Old school. There's Old the, yep. school. Oh, wow. So I'm, to, I'm to the point of almost, uh, I've got a Zohu Rushi uh, water dispenser. I had a cheap one I've been getting by with for years. So I think I'm going to up my coffee and tea game a little bit, especially doing pour over. Go back and catch the super chat, boys. Yankee Doodle, two dollars. Arch, are you still making payments on the ten sixteen? No, 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 no. No, definitely not. But I, I do miss that watch. But I tell you, I, uh, I love my paddock that's coming. Gee, this is an expensive home. This is like homes of the rich and famous. Look at this. He's got a silver bulldog, art on the wall, and uh, that's. This is not a cheap home. No. But, uh, what was, oh, yeah. Um, to me, it's just there's no fun. There's no fun of the hunt. There's no fun of the th there's no hunt of the thrill. But, but this, this said, though, I think a lot of people that are complaining about Rolex the loudest don't have any fucking money in the first place. Mm. You think so? Yeah. At one point, okay, because I uh, sold off some pieces, some of the lit some of the lesser pieces. Yeah. Uh, the older ones, like at the beginning of the year, right? Yeah. So I had a 14270. We know this as the Archie Explodes watch. Yeah. Well documented. It had a it had the prop it had a box. It had the proper box. It even had the little sticker with the model number, 14270. Yeah. Um, it had all the booklets. It had every it had everything except the warranty card. And it had even been serviced. Yeah. And literally, I think it was like thirty six hundred bucks. Yeah, which at that time was literally the cheapest explorer in North America. Yes, and people and you, you would not believe the hemming and hawing. It's like I had people saying, "Oh, you know, I'm sorry, little watch show. If you gave that to me for free, I'd really love it." And I was like, "I'm sure you'd really love it too, asshole." Watch buyers yeah. are cunts. Yeah. You should know you're the biggest one of them. Well, well this is absolutely true. I am the biggest cunt when I am buying a watch, but I don't appreciate it when when I'm selling a watch. 
Yeah, but it was yeah, good. I, but it's great. It's five dollars. It's great seeing the Holy Trinity on a Sunday night. The Pontiff, Clivers, and Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Mark's doing a great job there. It's going good. I got to tell you, yeah, no, I understand what you're seeing. You're saying, Clive, but um, tell me seriously, you've uh, any any further developments on that? No, what? not yet. Not yet. Still working on it. Uh, uh, please come on. So two dollars, Mark. You misspelled Mark, by the way. With the C, like cunt. Yeah. Mark, how's your rubber bee strap on your sea dweller? You also well, misspelled. You know, it's uh, you it's not horrible. It's, it's, you know what? It's probably the best you're going to do in a rubber strap, but it's ridiculously expensive. Three hundred dollars for a rubber strap is stupid, and uh, and I like steel, so I got to say it's adequate. But uh, I don't love it. But it's better. It it makes the watch more balanced, and uh, and and it reduces weight. So I guess that's a good thing for that particular watch. And see what gets me mad. Also, I kind of I kind of want. I kind of want Omega to sneak up behind Rolex, punch him in the kidney, and watch him go down and they kick the crap out of Rolex right now, because they should be able to do that, and they're not. Mm. Instead, Rolex does this, I mean, sorry, Omega does the same fucking lazy limited edition releases bullshit, and they up the prices of their watches for, with no justification whatsoever. Yes. What is that? That's milk. Condensed milk. Yes. That's ah, the secret. Is... It's the secret to... Um, to Thai coffee? Yes, condensed milk. Well, you need condensed in it, but you know, yeah, it's the secret. It's the secret elixir of life. Don't tell anybody. I got the worst exchange rate last time in Thailand, 19.88 to 1. That's the yeah. Aussie. That's really awful. Yeah, I'm it sure. It is Tan's, fucking I'm, awful. I'm sure Tan's going to be pissed. It's a miracle you were able to come home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, but um, did you like Mark? Did you like my box with the pink interior I bought back? Beautiful, and thank you for using my intro. No worries. I know that. I know that. It looks like Mark is just like Bear Clooney. That's. I just needed Bear Clooney off. I needed to be the guy. Okay. You wanted, what you wanted to get Bear Clooney off? Yes. Well. Well. So to speak. Okay. In a manner of speaking. Uh, Bear Clooney's still very cool. Bear Clooney's very cool. Okay, now here's, now here's, here's an Omega apologist coming out. It's not like every Omega is bad. People make out every release six. Every make out every release six and is a limited edition. Let's be more balanced, Clyde. Um, I, I they they really heavily over rely on limited editions, and literally. And, and the thing is, and they they just they get. It's like it's like they're Leonardo da Vinci, but Leonardo da Vinci that painted a wart on the end of the Mona Lisa's nose. There's always one other thing. It's like why the fuck, why the fuck did you leave that? Why didn't you take care of that? Why didn't you resolve that? And like, eh, we don't have to. Screw it. Let's go home. Yes, I understand. You see the crema forming on top. Yeah, I love the crema. Crema is very good for you. Oh, shit. I love your crema. Fuck. Oh. I've heard that before, Archie. I've heard that before. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad I'm reading the live stream comments right now. All right. <laughs> Thick and rich and creamy. Yes. I love yeah. that. That's, uh, do, you, do you put sugar in there if you're using condensed milk? That's no, sweet enough. It. It's like a sweet enough. Yeah, sweet condensed milk has two ingredients, sugar and milk. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's really good for you on a diet as well, isn't it? Well, it's uh, it's definitely good for you. It's filled with antioxidants. Yes. Okay. Uh, and like, like, uh, the, Clyde, sure, but Rolex has herpes. I don't know if Every one <laughs> misses the mark by a hair at least. Ah. Uh, if they if um, if Rolex misses by a hair, Omega misses by a dreadlock. But anyway, yeah. But it seems like, and you know, we're talking about is it China? Is it the economy? Is it Rolex's hor horribly antiquated antiquated sorry antiquated cell uh, Or in I think a lot of ways it's us. Ah, it's us. You yeah. think so? Yeah. 
How many people are saying they're holding on to Rolex? I'm not going to name any names that they don't love, that they fall out of love with, that they could care less for. Well, and stop. They... You know what, though? Here's a question for you. Is Rolex... Right. You know what? Modern Rolex, ironically, could be an old man's watch. And vintage Rolex is the young man hipster's watch. What do you think of that? Yes. Okay. You know, like a, an overpriced, water-damaged <laughs> going Theo and Harris style. You know, my dad, he's a older individual and he, I, I tried to get him. Wait, 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 is your son a younger individual? I want to make sure I kind of get the order here. Um, Never mind. Go ahead. Anyway, go back to your text conversation. Yeah. So anyhow, he, he um, I tried to get him interested in Rolex and you know what? He's not interested in, in bigger, bigger, bigger sports, bigger sports. He's not interested. He likes 36 mil. So, you know, he loves the date just. He says, oh, no, 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 no. He, he's, he's in his mind. Well, there's a lot of bargains out there in that in that size watch. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. if he could go if he'd be 34, he'd, you know, cock of the walk. There are so many, there are so many vintage out there in 30, in, in, like Air Kings. Clyde just said cock. Of the walk. Mm. I am not why. I am a baby boomer. I am a baby boomer. Oh, you're a baby boomer. You're not an X, not generation. No. Clive's I'm generation not, X, aren't no, you, Clive? I'm, I'm, old. I'm an old fucker. I'm generation X. That's right. The beginning of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've got to tell you, it's a very fucking nasty business. Rolex is nasty. Okay. Here, what the, could they do? Okay, because what happens when you buy new Rolex, and of course, of the three of us, Mark knows this far better than we do because we don't have that so close association, that special comradeship with an AD. Well, I but, don't really have the comradeship. I just, I have, a, I have an AD or two who is nice to me. Thank you, Doodle. $2 Arch is your dad giving you his Mercedes. Yes, when it's time to get rid of it. In a couple of years' time, when the warranty's gone, and uh, and I, that was kind of a promise that may not be kept. Okay. Does he drive much? Maybe you should encourage him to quit driving. Uh, he does. He does. He loves that car. Tell him he to start it. taking an Uber to keep mileage off your vehicle. Yeah. Does he love the car more than he loves you? Uh, of course. It's a Mercedes, for God's sake. It's a Mercedes. Okay. But... Okay, but you know when you scan a, you know they take the warranty card, they basically scan it in, and it sends the transactions off to Rolex. In other words, yes. this, this this reference, this serial number was sold at this AD at this amount to you know, et yeah. cetera. Why don't they just have it to where? Oh, by the way, we sold it to this person. Just like protect, protect. I got to be honest with you, Clive. You must feel bad about missing out on that Batman now, don't you? <laughs> so uh, forget all about that interesting point that you just made. Let's go right to the heart of when you flounced out of the authorized dealer with for an MSRP Batman. Just forget that whole register the client thing. Sticker gate. Oh, no, actually. Well, actually, yeah. Forced destickering. See, they would rather inconvenience the fucking consumers. They want to make their consumers feel like criminals rather than change their bullshit uh, distribution practice. Clyde was molested at the AD. You know, Clyde, Clyde, as a famous Republican congressman once said, sometimes you just got to relax and enjoy it. <laughs> that, was, that, was the, that was the time. The body has certain protections against forced destickering. You should have let the body do its job. I did. I, I defend, yeah. They, I should have gone and they stick with the watch and said, you know, I changed my mind. I don't want it. Flounced. You flounced. I wonder how they oh, got a new card. Because you had written I, your I, name on the card, right? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. But the, but the trouble is, they don't want to change the way they do business because they just don't want to. I don't think they give a shit. It's a very small coffee. I need to, I need to make another one. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Rolling, rolling, keep that pot of grazing, big fair. This is like going to the chuck wagon. This is like a percolator, like an old-fashioned, remember percolators? 
I love percolated coffee. That's so 70s. No, 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 no. It's, it's 40s, 50s, and 60s also. Yeah. I have a fetish for coffee machines, and I have like about 10 different ones. Most okay. of which I never use. Okay, now, guys, now, there, I'm reading the live stream comment. If you'd rather us talk about Tiso type one. Tiso honey. We're talking about Jim? Tiso honey. We love you a long time. Uh, Bella. I'm just going to uh, take a quick toilet break. I'll be back in a minute. I don't know what's wrong. Take us with you. Take us with you. Take us with you. Okay. I'll be back. I wonder if Archie has ever run into a Vintigne lookalike in a soapy. And is that a turn on or a turn off? So, <laughs> should we talk about them now? Uh, sure. But okay. So I, I promised if everyone type one, I'd, I'd talk about Tiso for a second. Okay. Should I call Don Haynes? Oh, all right. You do your Tiso, and then we'll call Don Haynes. That's okay. It's it's like sub brand. It's like it's like Tiso is basically like Omega's tutor. I think they make I think they make watch it range out of this. All over the place. Um, I like I like the heritage uh, petite seconds. Frankly, I, you know, I think it's a great. I think it's a hell of a great little watch for the money. I think it's a great movement. I think it's everything. It, yeah, I think it's for for a thousand dollars or sub thousand dollars. I don't think you can do better. Well, actually, other than this, you can't do better. Is that the uh, that's the fake IWC? Uh, the no, this is the more authentic homage to the lift. Watch. The authentic homage. That's a contradiction in terms. So, um, what do you think about Timex? I think the. Um, do you have a Rado or a Timex? Uh, I actually, I kind of like that uh, Pepsi. Okay, five dollars just an age. Marky House, the Seamaster. Did you ever decide that whatever between it and the Polo goes? Um, the I, I kind of like the Seamaster. I'm liking it. You know what? It's a flashy watch, and I made, I did make that video comparing the Seamaster and the Pelagos, and I, I, I think, for my personal collection, I probably think the Pelagos is more of a keeper for me. But for somebody who's trying to decide between those two watches as a luxury entry watch, and they're going to just keep it forever, and it's going to be their one true watch, I think the Seamaster is a more versatile and flashier watch. But the Pelagos is a better tool watch, if you will. So there, you, there you have it. I don't like that left hand shit, but you know. Yeah, me either. It's gonna dig into your wrist, and it was expensive, and I don't know why. It's just it's like a novel. Cool. But I, I, if they made the same thing with the right handed, I, I've seen it before. I've seen the Tudor with the left hand. I mean, with left hand drive, and I actually think it's a great looking watch. What did they do special there? They did like a red liner. They did something funny. Okay, but here, but here, here's also the thing. Literally, so they released it. They hodunky the shit. The uh, what is it? The uh, Timex Q. Yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hodunky the shit out of it. They, they bought the place, so everyone can. So basically, the scalpers and the flippers just went in, like got them head over fist. And by the time the real watch community found out about them, they were sold out. I mean, I would pay one seventy nine for that watch just to own a, a cool, funky re-release Timex, but. They're on eBay for like eight hundred dollars. It's stupid. It's, it's worth it. Yeah, no, no, that's that is what's wrong with the fucking watch industry. Well, that's wrong with you know any um, sort of. It's, it's called capitalism. Oh, being a sheeple, you know, we all want the same stuff. We want it because we can't have it, and that's the only reason we want it. I I love that video you did. That nailed it. You know, psychologically, it's true. Do you know that Don Haynes paid above MSRP for an all metal G Shock? that is now available at MSRP or below on Amazon. But at the time, you know, there was a rush. Him and Maddie Stevens both paid over MSRP, I think. I know Don did, not, not sure about that. Then you're stuck with it. You can never, you can never sell them after that. Wow, that's amazing. Don, yeah. Don, Don's willing to take a loss, right? Hey, should we call Don? Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Let's call off from Daniels. See if we can get Donnie. Down, 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 down. All right, hold on.
Don, 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 Donny, Tate, Donny, time with Don. What are you doing, Donny? Time with Don, Don's time. I'm watching Chernobyl. You're watching Chernobyl. Now, Don, um, according to the uh, ethics, morals, and laws of um, the United States, YouTube, and Australia, I have to tell you that you're live on the air. Okay, cool. Thank Stop. you. Thank you for joining the um, the beg stream with uh, your favorite rancher, your favorite dog trainer, and your favorite horned idiot. So, <laughs> so we're talking about. Like um, we're, can, can you guys hear Don? Yeah, we can hear Don. We're talking about fifty fathoms, the fifty fathoms versus the Rolex sub. Go. Quality, fit, finish, and value retention. Like, Tell us. Yeah. That's like comparing a motorcycle to a submarine for different things. Mm. But they're both dive watches. Like I mean, 50 Fathoms is a trip. That's the only thing that they have in common is their dive watch. Well, actually, um, Archie Luxury suggests that in 1954, um, the 50 Fathoms actually copied a Rolex um, you know, design and that, in fact, the 50 Fathoms is not the original design, but it is, in fact, the Submariner, because the uh, 50 Fathoms was based on was a Rolex. In 1950. Okay. First of all, it was in 1953, and Blancpain was first to the market. Rolex yeah, but, was just fucking but, around with prototypes. Before. Rolex, Rolex, had that Rolex did have the 6200. You know the 6200? It doesn't matter the history of the watch. They're different things. You're comparing a triple barrel movement to a single barrel movement, or a movement that's finished to one that's not. You know, I agree. You know, that, 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 those those blank panes used a lot of ETA movements in the day. You know that, don't you? Actually, the original blanc pine movements were not even as good as ETA movements. They were kind of on their dive watch. They used a real simple, crappy one that wasn't that good it was nowhere nearly as good as the rolex movement originally um and and the block pond of today is a completely different company i mean the company was dormant for 20 years now yes that's know, right and they started it up again jean-claude be there now tell me basically frederick Piguet make makes all the movements now for uh, block pond. now answer me one other quick question true or false Matt Stevens overpaid for his square G stock. No. Did he pay, did he pay over MSRP? No, he paid exactly MSRP. Uh, what'd you pay? Keep in mind that this, I paid exactly MSRP. These, these watches are tough to get. Uh, well, no, they're, we didn't want to go gray market. We wanted warranties. You know. they're, on Am they're, they're not tough to get. They're on Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. Well, they were when we bought them. That's Basically, true. Basically, we got them right when they reissued them again. You know what? So Any... They didn't have the inventory. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I did. I made that same mistake when that blue Tudor Pelagos came out. I had to be the first kid on my block to have one, and I feel like, I, I, I mean, I, I got a small discount on it, but they have fallen in value since then. So, being the third guy on your block to get one is usually the better deal. Yeah. All right, Donnie. Yeah, exactly. Well, Donnie, I'm uh, not a big fan of the. Remember when we went to look at Tudors and the fit and finish of them was not like up to snuff anymore? Well, remember the Omega like, with the, the bezels remember, like, lining up? No, that was the Omega. That was the bad. That was an Omega with a no. Bed. Those were Tudors. Was it? No, we were looking at Tudors and all the Tudors bezels weren't lining up. No, we had one. It was just one watch, and I thought it was the Omega. <laughs> tell us how good the date works on your block plane. The thing has been replaced by a new part. They redesigned the fucking part for the watch. All the new ones are fine. He's just trying to wind you up. Get it? That's for a, that's for a logical talk. He's just trying to overwind your hairspring right now. <laughs> All right, Donnie. Well, thank you for joining us on the Beg Stream. We sure appreciate your. You you must appear live and in person yes. and soon. I'm glad glad that you and the Pontiff okay, have made. Okay, we'll figure something out. Good. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Bring him back on. We need Please the money. We need the money, and uh, and the pontiff loves you. Truly, he does. Yes, we love you. Okay. All right. All right. I love you too, Archie. All right. Good. He says he loves you too, Archie. Bye, Don. Uh, thank you. Okay, okay now, now you call him. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I love him. Like, Don Haynes is, is an earnest, 
sincere, lovable individual. I must tell you, he really. Is. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's cool. Done. Done. Cool. Guys, I'm gonna have to wrap this show up, man. I gotta do some paid reviews. I want to thank you guys for coming on here. Loudmouth Tim. Hi, okay. I'm thinking of using my YouTube more. Good idea, Loudmouth. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna say thank you. It's Sunday night in America. Have a good holiday tomorrow. What's the occasion? Memorial Day. Have a good, good holiday. Take it easy, man. And uh, we will chat on. We'll be back soon. Yankee Doodle, okay. five bucks. Buzz Aldrin testified in Congress that he saw aliens on the moon. They had, they had him take a lie detector test, and he passed. I wonder what Doc BBW would say about that. Mm. Oh. Okay, guys, thank you. See you soon. Ciao, fuckers.